Saturday night in Statesboro, Georgia, as we have reached the second semifinal of the Sun Belt Conference baseball tournament as the number eight seed Texas State Bobcats meet the host and number five seed Georgia Southern Eagles. And good evening, I'm Matt Stewart, joined by former that up forward, you want to take off. Not running, 2-0, driven to deep left field, going back to the wall and gone. Teddy Hoffman just powered one over the left field wall and Texas State has taken a 2-0 lead. No doubt about it, and maybe Chase Cohen got too preoccupied yes. with Jonathan Ortega at first base, and Teddy Hoffman was waiting on that pitch right down the middle, got it, and drove it over the wall. What did we say? You can't forget about him at the plate? Yes, Ortega at first base. That swing, 6'1", 220 pounds. Ryan Cleveland drills this one to deep left field, and it is gone. Ryan Cleveland with his first home run in over two weeks, the 46th of his career, has tied the game at two. Finally, for Ryan Cleveland, patience pays off because they've been pitching Breaking ball, hit on the infield. Hubbard throws across, pulled Paul off the bag. The ball gets away. And McDonald will score from third, and Georgia Southern has a 3-2 lead. In between them. 0-2 pitch. Driven towards the gap, threw him a fastball for some reason. It goes to the gap. Curry scores. It's 4-2. to two. Here comes Baldwin, and he will score without a throw, and it's 5-2. to two. Why did he throw him a fastball after getting him swinging on two straight breaking balls? That's a, that's a great question, and it may have been just a pitch that they're going to show him he has the fastball and then come back with the breaking ball. But if... And the 3-2. Lined into center field for a base hit. Let's see if that scores Newman. He touches third. Here comes the throw to the plate. And Newman's safe head first slide. And Hoffman will take second on the throw. And Texas State has cut the Georgia Southern lead to 5-3. Oh, one to Brazel. Drives this one deep down the line in right field. Hoffman makes the grab. That's taggable for McWhorter. He will score without a throw. And it's now 6-3. the grass that seven straight balls goes to the backstop again and Curry will score Brandon Lewis didn't even come and cover the play I think Brandon Lewis actually thought that it hit the batter and that's why it stopped I thought I heard it felt this year third in the east the number five seed and that ball is rifled into right field over the head of Hoffman gonna one hop the wall Baldwin scores, and Wren has his second double of the ball game, his third double of the tournament, and Georgia Southern has an 8-3 lead. Can I answer your question now? <laughs> yes, they should. <laughs> Hoffman, the junior, a good-looking prospect. Goes after the first pitch and lined it right back to Eichhorn, who snagged it out of the air. Big play by Eichhorn. If that gets through, two more runs, we're going to score. Time for the seventh inning stretch in Statesboro. Eichhorn with some fancy glove work here to end the seventh inning. Wow. No balls and two strikes again, Frederick. Got him. Georgia Southern will play South Alabama for the Sun Belt Conference Tournament Championship tomorrow afternoon. Eleven five, Georgia Southern wins it. And the Eagles now 38 and 20 heading into the title game tomorrow. 
Texas State season ends at 29 and 30. And you asked at the beginning who has the big momentum coming into the ball game. Well, Georgia Southern had it, kept it, and they continue to have it going into the championship game tomorrow. Should be a great matchup. I'm looking forward to tomorrow afternoon. Two great teams representing the Sun Belt Conference in the championship game. A big four for four game from Logan Baldwin, who he 